what is going on everybody this is going to be a detailed video explaining what exactly you need to do in order to make your node.js mongodb project work on cyclic i will create a quick project from scratch and lead you step by step and this will be a fairly fast-paced video i'm also making a shorter version which i will link here i hope that you find this video useful Let's start by creating our project. I'm going to be using the GitHub desktop application for this, but feel free to use the terminal or whatever you're comfortable with. So I'm going to click here, current repositories, add create new repository. Insert here, I'm going to put the name of Node.js cyclic mongodb. I'm going to initialize a readme file. And also I'm going to put the license as MIT license, and then I can create the repository. Open it in Visual Studio Code. And the first thing that we need to do is to create a .git ignore file. So new file .git ignore. And inside here, we need to ignore two files. The first one is .env, which is going to hold our connection string and then our node modules. Basically, we don't want to be uploading this folder to GitHub. And we also don't want to upload our username and password on GitHub so everybody can see it. Save this and close. Let's create our .env file as well. So .env like so, and we should be good to go. Let's close that and let's initialize a new project. Terminal, new terminal. And then inside here, I'm going to do npm init dash y and this is going to create a new project for us and let's install some of the dependencies that we need npm i for install and then we need express mongoose and dot ev press enter and this should install the dependencies all right now that we're done let's close the terminal and let's open the explorer the next step is very important your main file needs to be called either index dot js or server dot js because otherwise it won't work so in this case, I'm going to go with index.js. Inside index.js is where we're going to initialize a new express server and do all the database connections and route. Let's start by requiring .env, like so. And then this is going to be config. Now we need to require express and mongoose. So const press equals require. And then inside here, we do express. And we also need const mongoose equals require. And then we require mongoose like so now we need to create a new express application and to do this we can do const app equals express close this and then we need to set a port number for which our application is going to be running on so const port equals and then inside here we can use the environment port number which is going to be very helpful for when we launch your app it's going to be using the server port number so in this case we're going to do process dot env dot port or if we're working locally we can put all three thousand the next thing that we need to do is our connection string to mongodb first of all we need to put this code here mongoose.set true query comma false because we're going to get a lot of warnings inside the console which is not what we want so add this line here and then we can do our connection so const connect db and then this is going to be an asynchronous function like so and inside this function we're going to have a try catch and inside the try is where we're going to try to connect to the database by doing const con and then equals await and then we're going to await for mongoose and then inside here we're going to do connect and i've actually made a spelling mistake here so let me change this super quickly mongoose connect we're going to bring a string from the dot env file here which I'm going to create in a second. So what we can do is process.env and then mongo underscore URI like so, and we should be good to go. Now, if we connect to the database, it will be good to know. So I'm going to do console.log and inside here, I'm going to do mongodb. Let me remove this and then connect it. And then we're going to put with a dollar sign. By the way, these are the slanted single quotes. So we can do template literals like so. So con.connection host but if we don't connect we just want to console log the error so console don't log and then we console log the error and then also we can do process dot exit one like so and we should be good to go so this is our database connection ready and now we need to create our first route so this could be our home page so for example we can do app.get and inside here is where we put the url so in this case this is going to be our home page i'm going to leave a slash and then after this i'm going to do comma we're going to have the request and the response like so. And this is going to be a narrow function. And inside here, we can render something or we can send something. So for example, res.send. And I'm going to send something like title box. Done. We'll test this in a second. So this is very specific to cyclic here, but we need to connect to the database first and then start the application. So 
in order to do this we can grab the connection from here then another function like so and then if we connect we can then do app.listen and we can listen to the port number and this is going to be another arrow function like so and inside here we can do console log and then we can do listening on port and then if we do dollar sign we can put the port like so but in order for this to work we need to put the slanted and as you can see it will be highlighted now. okay this is the very basic of it all but uh, if we run the application now obviously this is gonna break because we can't really connect to the database without the database configuration in order to do this let's jump to the explorer and let's click on .tmv and now let's create our mongodb database go to mongodb.com and if you haven't yet got an account click here try for free and then you can sign up in here by adding your first name last name company email and password or you can sign up with google if you wish i've already got an account so i'm going to click sign in okay once you log in your dashboard should look something similar to this on the project and then we can click new project so i'm going to call this one cyclic like so and then i'm going to click next project owner can stay the same create project and now we can build our database click build a database and now for the database we can click on the free shared one here scroll down choose the region close to you i'm going to choose island and scroll down create cluster and now we need to create our username and password for this i'm going to put ready and then i'm going to generate a password so for the password we need to copy this and let's put in our .env for now so i'm going to paste in here and let's go back so we can create our username here perfect we have ready with the password that is now hidden and if you scroll down a little bit more you will see this ip address with cyclic if we go back to cyclic and if you go under docs.cyclic.sh how to using mongodb for the free tiers cycle does not offer private networking which means that we need to allow by using this ip address in here so copy this and then you can add it inside here also this is usually under the networking tab if you can't find it and then add entry finish and close go to database now the next thing that we need to do is click on connect and then let's go to connect using vs code and this is going to give you this string in here copy the string paste it inside the.env file inside index.js we created this process.env mongo url this is the name that we need to copy and we need to put it in here and this mongo underscore uri is going to be equals this string here that we just copied paste in here and this is our password that we copied earlier so i'm going to grab it and replace the password in here as you can see my username is already added so that's absolutely fine and the last thing that you need to know about this is that this is going to be your database name if you wish to interact with the database you will need to create your own database model in order to do this you can create a folder called models and then inside the models for example we can create a new model called books.js and inside books we can create a new model I'm just going to super quickly copy and paste one just so you can see. But in this one, we have const mongoose equals require mongoose. And we export in this model in here. So we create a mongoose schema. And this is basically a book model where we have the title of the book, which is the type of string required. It's a field that is required. And then we have the body of the book, which is also the type of string and is required. Now that we have this model, you can pause and copy it super quickly we need to insert this into our index.js const book and then equals require and then inside here we can require it's going to be dot slash and then models and then the model that we want is box now we can use this model to interact with the database all right let's create a new route and to do this it's exactly the same as this here so what i'm going to do is create a new route app.get add node is going to be the route and inside here i want to insert a couple of books so we're going to do a try catch because this is an asynchronous function and inside the try i'm going to insert box so for example we're going to be using the box model that we just inserted so we're doing a wait box insert many and inside here we can add the box that we want to insert title and body just like our model sons of anarchy body text goes here title game of thrones body text goes here and that's it so two books is what we're going to be inserting and if you get an error we're going to do console.log error plus the error and now let's do one more which is going to display the box so if you scroll down a little bit i'm going to do app.get slash books async request response and inside here we can do the query which is const books equals await book.find this is 
finding all the books basically after this we can do if we get books rest.json so we want to display the books in a json format else something went wrong tidy this up super quickly so terminal new terminal and then node node index.js now errors all good and then if i go to the browser we will get now all we need to do is commit this project to github so basically upload your files to github and i'm gonna do init and then i'm just gonna commit all the changes that we've just done publish repository and then you can either keep this private or you can make it public if you wish whatever it's up to you i'm gonna keep mine private and let's press publish repository now let's jump back to the browser and open cyclic and if you haven't yet got an account i will paste the link in the description below but all you need to do is click sign up and this will give you a sign up form here and you can only sign up with github which is good so your github account will be straight away connected but i've already got an account so i'm going to press sign in and then i'm going to click now let's deploy our application click deploy inside here we need to click link your own and then we need to search for the repository which is cyclic and as you can see it's not finding it because it's private if it wasn't it will find it straight away but if it's private you need to click at a private repo then this is going to open this window here and we need to scroll down a little bit you can either allow access to all repositories or only the selected ones i'm going to do only selected and then i'm going to add the new one that we just added so cyclic so node.js dash cyclic mongodb here and it's adding it to my allowed list and now i can approve and install now we have our application added in here and all we need to do is click on this here don't forget to do that and this is going to fetch the repository and install it on the server perfect we have our euro in here but before we go to the euro we need to do one more thing and if you go back to the cyclic dashboard and if you click on your project which we just created here so click on the config icon here click on variables we need to add our mongodb uri in fact they've already got some default variables like this but you can also add custom ones if you wish to so if you go back open the .env file and copy the mongo underscore uri like so and paste this variable inside here and this is going to tell you basically what we just done that they do things differently and we close this and let's save it we go back to overview now and if we click on the application url here you will see that application is working we have books and our other route was the route that inserts books so add note i'm going to do that before i do that let me show you that in our database we don't have any collection so i'm going to do browse collection and as you can see it's created the collection just now i think but we don't have any data so what i'm going to do now is go under here and do add note which is going to hit the route which is going to add the notes okay i didn't render this so it's going to break make sure that you do res.send and then you send and you say book add it save it then obviously it's going to say service unavailable because i didn't do that but hopefully the data should be in our database now so if i refresh you will see that we get the two books that i added and also now if i go under books you will see that we're getting the two books that i added in our database so we're making a query and we're getting the box that's pretty much everything from this tutorial i hope that you found it useful don't forget to click the like button and give me a comment below and hopefully i will see you in the next one bye